New tonight at 11, a reunion story 55 years in the making. A man from Elma who found out he was adopted was able to track down his biological siblings and tonight family met for the first time. But the path to their meeting was not without heartache. Two on your side's Emily Lampa with their story. It's exciting to know you have somebody who's who you share, you know, blood with, I guess. It's really cool. 55-year-old Greg Merkel from Elma couldn't wait to come up to Buffalo Saturday because tonight's the night he's meeting his four younger half-siblings he didn't even know he had until recently. This is Billy, my brother. This is Kevin. How are you, man? Chrissy. And Michelle. It was 15 years ago when Greg found out he had been adopted and the search for his biological family began. My grandmother told me that we had a brother out there and we, for a while, we looked, but we just didn't really know how to do it. Greg says it was a DNA test kit that his girlfriend got him for Christmas over a year ago that made the difference. So by mid to late March, I knew I had sisters and brothers. They all have the same mother, Hope. Greg admits it was painful finding out that he would not be able to meet his biological mom, who died 11 years ago. I gathered up a bunch of pictures. Uh, I still have some more stuff just so you could see mom. Another heartbreak? Finding out his youngest half-sister died shortly after the DNA test confirmed they were siblings. Jennifer was taking the DNA test and she should have had it by about the time she passed away. So I've never spoken to Jennifer. Greg's sister was Jennifer Duffin. Her death made headlines in May when she was hit and killed walking across Niagara Falls Boulevard. A cousin called to let him know. I don't even know how to react. So I said to him, I'm so sorry. So that put the, the, the get together certainly on hold. And just two months ago, more misfortune. Greg's brother Bill also hit by a car. But the event where the siblings are finally reuniting, a fundraiser for Bill. Greg, now able to be there for his newly found family at a time when they need as much support as they can get. So we're going to raise some money for you, man. I'm just excited that I could help out and raise money for him. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.